There are 29 easy ways to get closer to your baby. Cuddling, playing, and even making goo-goo eyes at your baby are all pleasant ways to bond with your child, and they are essential to the development of a healthy kid. Have you ever noticed how the gorgeous face of your infant, with its rosy cheeks, sparkling eyes, and sly smile, is strangely more intriguing to watch than even the most Oscar-winning blockbuster movie? It's not a coincidence at all. You and your partner have a biological predisposition to take great pleasure in each other's company. And if you pay attention to your gut feelings and work hard to build a strong connection right now, you could pave the way for your child to have wonderful relationships throughout their entire lives. According to the findings of one study, when participants were in their early 20s, they were more likely to come out of a disagreement still feeling connected to their spouse if they had a stable attachment to their parent when they were 12 months old, meaning they looked to them for comfort when exploring an unknown environment. According to the author of the study and adjunct professor of psychology at the University of Minnesota, Jeff Simpson, PhD, the results of this research suggest that our capacity to love, trust, and resolve conflict stems in part from how we are treated as infants. Giving your child your love is one of the best things you can do for their well-being. According to findings published in Psychological Science, attentive parents provide their children with a buffer against chronic stress, which has been linked to a variety of health issues, including sleep disorders, digestive problems, cognitive impairment, depression, and obesity. Methods to form closer ties with your newborn. Developing a connection with your sweetheart is primarily an instinctive process. According to Daniel Messenger, PhD, a child psychology professor at the University of Miami, attachment is not about acting the correct way. It's really about watching your baby and responding sensitively. Therefore, if you are both enjoying themselves, then you are doing it correctly. In need of some helpful hints? Continue reading for 30 different ways you can bond with your baby. 1. During the feeding process, gaze into your child's eyes. It's not just about the food. When your infant presses their face against your chest to breastfeed or drink from a bottle, they can hear your heartbeat, smell your perfume, and feel reassured by the fact that their skin is making contact with theirs. Ensure that you are looking into your child's eyes when they are being fed. Maintaining eye contact with your child can assist them in remembering who you are and the significance you hold in their life. 2. Perform a massage on your child. There are a staggering number of advantages to giving your infant a massage, and you will feel like a superhero as your child grins and coos with delight during the session. 3. Put your phone away and concentrate. Your loved ones, friends, and coworkers will be patient with you if you take a couple of hours to react to a text message for the time being. Make the most of this opportunity by spending all of that extra time with your little child. 4. Take a look at yourselves in the mirror. It's perfectly normal for your infant to lack an understanding of the idea of reflection at this stage. Babies are naturally drawn to stare at other people's faces, and this activity is a wonderful way to bring them face to face with their very own. 5. Pay attention to the rhythm of their heart. Do you remember how thrilled you were when the ultrasound technician played that lovely sound? It is now possible for you to have pleasant sounds coming into your ears whenever you wish. 6. Get some rest when your child is resting. Feeling bad about going to bed at 7 o'clock in the evening is unwarranted and should be avoided at all costs. Your child will benefit greatly from you getting enough rest since a contented parent is a healthy parent. 7. Do something thoughtful and romantic for your partner. Whether or not you are aware of it, your child is picking up on the connection that exists between both of you. Build on it by treating each other to a memorable meal or spending quality time together watching a movie, just like in the good old days. 8. Try not to worry too much about the milestones. It is tempting to search the internet for information on when particular things will occur, but it is important to remember that every baby develops at their own unique speed. In the event that you have any concerns, you should, of course, never hesitate to get in touch with a reliable specialist. 9. Go skin to skin. It does not matter if you actually carried your kid or not, the important thing is that you were physically connected to your baby. Because it helps regulate a baby's respiration and heart rate, kangaroo care, which is just another word for skin-to-skin -skin contact, is an activity that is not only endearing but also useful. 10. 
Attend to your child when they are crying. Your baby needs to know that you are there for them, especially during the first three months of their existence, and scooping them up when they cry helps create that trust in you as a reliable caregiver. We assure you that you will not be spoiling them in any way, and if you decide to train them to sleep through the night, the time will come for that. 11. Master the art of wrapping your baby in a swaddle. Swaddling your kid the right way can lead to improved sleep for both of you. Do we even need to continue? 12. Take in the aroma of them. Unfortunately, no one has yet discovered a way to bottle baby smell, but, you already have the good stuff right in front of your nose, so go ahead and take a whiff. It won't be long before you realize that the aroma that emanates from your child is more alluring than that of any other newborn. 13. Devote more of your time to relaxing in the glider. Your kid has just drifted off to sleep, and you're very sure that you'll be able to sneakily place them in their bassinet without them waking up if you just apply your best ninja skills. However, before you set them down, you and your partner should feel free to rock back and forth together in the dimly lit room. Even the most mundane interactions can be opportunities for bonding. 14. Engage in some dress-up play. Let's be honest here, when you see your child dressed in something new, doesn't your heart just do a little happy dance? If you want to put on a baby fashion display for no one else except yourself, no one will criticize you for it. 15. Make sure to keep a diary. The first year of your child's life will fly by in a flash, so make sure to document all of the precious experiences you have together during this time. 16. Conduct a meet and greet with a stuffed animal. You are going to have a great time watching your baby explore their new small fuzzy buddies by touching, smelling, and even tasting them. Keep an eye out for the book that kids gravitate toward the most since you'll want to have a copy of it on hand when it's time for bed. 17. Recite stories out loud to your child. It's never too early to start your infant off on a lifelong love of reading and learning. If you are able to adopt a distinct tone of voice for each of the roles, you will earn bonus points. 18. Take deep breaths even if you're having a weeping fit. Each and every baby cries. However, if you tense up and allow yourself to become frustrated, your baby will cry much more. Keep in mind that even grown-ups have bad days. Babies just require more support to get through them. 19. Make a plan for your day. Babies are creatures of habit, so maintaining a schedule for your infant will help him or her feel more secure if you do so. When you anticipate your baby's feeding demands, it will also assist your infant in understanding that it is you, the parent, who is responsible for making all the magic happen. 20. Take your child out on a date with you. Do you have an adventurous spirit? Visit the local zoo. Are you not the adventurous type? The local coffee shop on the corner is open for business. Going out with your infant will serve as a helpful reminder that the world is still moving on the outside of your cozy little bubble. 21. Think of a name for your companion animal. Because you are the parent, you get to choose whatever name you want to call your child. In addition, the nickname you choose to give them will be something of a shared little secret between the two of you. 22. Create a playlist and let your inner Beyonce shine through. Choose five of your all-time favorites, make it a habit to play them for the baby, and join in on the singing. It's always beneficial for your child to listen to your voice, and you'll get a thrill out of it when they ultimately start to bob along to the beat. 23. Dig out all of your old pictures of you as a baby. It's possible that your child has inherited your eyes, your grin, or even your ringlets. You will experience a sense of instant connection no matter what similarities you uncover. 24. Take pleasure in eating unusual dishes. When your baby is about six months old and ready to start eating solid foods, you don't need to worry about the mess. Instead, you should concentrate on the pleasant enjoyment and exploration your baby is having of the new flavors, textures, and fragrances that they are being presented with. 25. Engage in some childish antics. Have a great time wiggling your eyebrows and sticking out your tongue, and get ready for your chest to burst with joy the first time you succeed in making your baby grin. 26. Get out of this disaster. You will have a choice to make each and every day, either clean the house or snuggle on the couch with your new baby. We believe that quality time spent cuddling is more vital than keeping the house spotless. 
27. Communicate with your young child. Have a conversation with your small one. The first few weeks of parenthood can be a lonely time, so don't be afraid to vent to your brand new best friend about how you're feeling. There is a good chance that they will enjoy the sound of your voice, and you will get a sense of relief as a result of this. Do you know how to say, win-win? 28. Find amusement in the feces you produce. Indeed, we did say that. The act of changing a baby's diaper has a reputation for being unpleasant, but you can turn it into a game by humming a catchy tune while you wipe, gushing over how adorable your child's bottom is, or coming up with a million different ways to describe excrement. 29. Give one of those adorable baby kisses to those lips. In a few years, it is highly likely that your child may swipe away your kisses and give you that look. But what about right now? They are adorable in their helplessness, so give them some affection. What happens if you don't fall in love the first time you see someone? What happens if you look at this red-faced, wrinkled little stranger who is crying at the top of their lungs, and you don't feel overtaken with love? What happens if you look at this red-faced, wrinkled little stranger who is crying at the top of their lungs? Nancy Mork, Associate Director of the Erickson Institute Fussy Baby Network in Chicago, advises parents not to freak out over their fussy babies. That response is entirely predictable and appropriate. So many parents have this expectation that they will instantly fall in love with their baby, says the psychologist. If that doesn't happen, they feel they've failed. However, many parents report feeling emotionally unprepared for the early days of their newborn's life. According to Chuck Sheffer, Ph.D., a reproductive psychologist and fatherhood expert located in New York City, many parents struggle to build a relationship with a newborn who can barely make eye contact, let alone communicate in a way that can help build a close relationship. You may relax knowing that there is no one correct approach to bond with your child. As long as you're having fun and feeling happy around your kid, they will feel happy and safe, and bonding will naturally occur.